Hi everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. And uh, if you are new to the channel, my name is Milu. Please subscribe if you like what you see. And I want to say thank you to the chat monitors for your help. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, Trump, he's doing his best dance to keep secret a whole bunch of documents. Uh, and like I have said before, and I still continue to feel the same, which is surprising to me, we're going to be again shocked but by how much thought was put into the insurrection. And you know something else? Trump's plans, uh, if he were lucky to remain, or if, he, or if his coup was successful. That's what, the, besides a whole bunch of people that we don't know about yet, he was communicating with, asking, you know, how to go about staying in power, all those things. I feel like saying uh, it's going to be shocking, even to Trump. That's why he's trying to hide everything. Otherwise, with his big mouth, he would open the door and said, you know, go at it. Have at it. No problem here. No. But I have bad news for... <laughs> For Trump, everything will be uh, turned over to Congress. It may take a couple of months, but you know something? I don't know how many of you heard of, about that judge who's complaining about DOJ, the way DOJ, DOJ's, uh, the light sentences that DOJ is offering to the insurrectionists. Intuitively, I feel like saying, it, you know, those judges are human beings like us. Some of them can't stand Trump, and some of them believe what Trump did on, on January 6th was wrong and it was his fault. And he is not going to find too many judges who are going to side with him as far as delaying this process. They are on to him, and I don't feel he's going to get a break. Uh, and also, intuitively, I feel what's going to come out from those documents, among other things that we are still yet to find out that Trump did, uh, is going to force a lot of people on his base, they're going to they're gonna have a coming to Jesus and realize, yes, we love this guy, whatever, but they're going to try to move on because it's going to be too much. And to what if that's what I feel like saying, and that's my prediction. And also, there was something on Madao last night, if you recall, not too long ago, I said they're going to find links between Trump and Putin. And there was, a, there, there was a story in the newspapers, I don't remember how long ago, over a year ago or whenever, but it was a while back, about uh, a server at Trump Tower who was pinging or was being pinged by another server from Russia or something to that effect. Uh, I feel like saying we are watching to begin. We are we are watching the beginning of that story, that I said we they are going to find a link between Trump and Putin, and also hmm, uh, Trump and his enablers think that they have gotten away with January 6th. I don't think so. 
I feel like saying there are secret recordings of everything that happened in that White House after the election and it became clear to a lot of people, it may be before that, but I feel like saying after the election, after Trump lost, and Trump made it clear that he was not going to leave office. Uh, there is going to be some, the reason why we haven't heard about those recordings, it feels like to me, uh, it's, it would be very controversial. I am not sure how we're going to find out about this. But if Trump thinks that everything that happened in that White House, conversations, uh, are secrets, I have a bridge to sell him. There is more floating about what took place in the White House and what Trump was up to, what his family was up to, and the way they were uh, partying uh, behind the scenes, waiting for Pence to act on whatever that crazy lawyer, uh, whatever instructions he wrote for Pence to follow. We got lucky, Pence did not follow the instructions. Uh, uh, John Eastman, whatever Eastman, his last name is Eastman. So I feel all these things are going to come out and everything, every, about every single person that was in the White House at the time. Yeah, we're going to find out. Like I said, it may take a couple of months, but it's going to come out. And uh, somebody asked me how, when will gas prices go down? I feel like saying at least six months to a year. I don't feel it's going to come down next month. Although today I want to fill up my car. It seems like it was 40 ch cents cheaper than the last time I filled it. So, but I don't feel, I feel like saying at least six months. I don't feel it's six weeks. Uh... And I feel like saying Biden is doing, like, I, I believe I said that. I, pretend, I, pre I predicted that Biden would do well in Europe. I'm not quite sure. Please forgive me if I didn't say it on the stream, but I would better probably when talking to people. But I feel he's, uh, Biden's trip overseas, he's doing very well. I don't feel failure, no someone, no one respects like they didn't respect Trump. So I, uh, I feel like saying he's well viewed and the, the way the Pope received them is good as well. Regina O'Flaherty is asking Milo, will Steve Bannon ever be indicted for the, oh yeah, for defining, uh, yes, Congress for not testifying. Uh, Bannon is going to be indicted on a whole slew of stuff. That's not the only thing it feels like to me. Okay, today's Saturday. As we all know, on Saturdays, I answer questions whether they are you know, personal or uh, pol political. So I am gonna start looking for questions. I don't wanna take too much longer talking. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe one more thing I wanted to mention. Oh, Zuckerberg. You know, guys, do you? This is interesting. Some months ago, maybe a year, I don't recall exactly, I predicted that uh, Zuckerberg was not going to be in the same position that he holds right now on Facebook. Well, from what I understand, you know how the universe gives you messages? It's interesting. Uh, basically, I, I'm not quite sure if they're going to, what he's doing is if he's going to do something like Google did you know, the, the parent company is Alphabet and they have YouTube, among others, uh, you know, and from the tree. I'm not quite sure what Facebook is doing, but I feel like his negative is so high, Zuckerberg that is, 
worse than the guys at Google. So I don't feel Zuckerberg is, it's, if he thinks it's going to be that easy to just change the names and try to play around and come on TV and do a whole bunch of stuff, I have news for him. It's not going to happen that way. And I don't know, maybe he'll be president of one of those, whatever, the breakup. Uh, I feel like saying Zuckerberg has shot himself in the foot and he has not begun to see the repercussion of his shenanigans. Uh, because it feels like, to me, life is going to get tougher for Zuckerberg once the Trump, this whole Trump saga start to uh, unfold. And uh, when Trump stars start falling, Zuckerberg is going to get some blowback as well. And there is, uh, someone asked me the question about uh, Fox News and Tuckums. These things have to happen. What he's doing right now, you know, uh, I hope he produces more of those stupid movies, whatever it is he's creating, because it's more when the energy turns on him, the heat will be harder. And uh, I'm not surprised because I predicted a while back, Fox, Fox News will not have any choices but to change format, and among other things that are going to be happening over there. So, Tuckums uh, can do whatever he wants. Everyone has realized that Tucker, Fox, Hannity, Trump, Hannity has been, it seems like he's been trying to, you know, keep a low profile. But all these people, guys, within the next six months, I, feel, I don't feel it six weeks, uh, the minute that they bring Trump down, a lot is going to change. Yes, we're still going to have those Trumpists running around saying stupid things. But once they get Trump, once he's indicted, and, you know, what's coming for him, if we think we know everything, get your chair. Get comfortable. <laughs> uh, we haven't heard much. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot worse for Trump, and I've said this before. And I feel like saying it's yet to get worse. So, uh, and, you know... I feel like saying, uh, we sh like I've said before, our attorney general should be a little more aggressive. But I heard a woman on Twitter earlier today, I read one of her tweets, that uh, an, an assistant AG is going after Bannon, I believe. Uh, and she says she's a lawyer, since I don't know. Me, not until, you know, somebody grab somebody like Trump by the collar and shake him and say, listen, man, you know, we're not going to go for this. Uh, it's not strong enough. But she said I, she's a lawyer and she knows the wording of people, lawyers, I guess, when they are about to take action, when they're about to pounce. She says that was a very tough indictment. So uh, I'll take her word for it. But uh, we haven't seen anything, friends. This has just begun. Hold on to your horses. Okay, let me scroll down. Wanda Valde says, I Milo, will, will I need foot surgery if it's not getting better? I feel like saying uh, chances are there's a very good chance you may need surgery, okay? It may not be right away. Where am I getting, did you ask me this question? I don't remember if it was Monday. Where am I getting, seeing your, your big toe? Wanda Rodriguez. Mr. Maurice Evans Jones is asking, I am in a financial mess. Do you see me coming out of this financial roller coaster? Yes, but you're going to have to do, uh, it's not going to resolve by itself. You're going to have to make a plan on how to get out of it. Yes, you will. 
okay? And if you are between 26 to 32 or 56 to 62, uh, you may be going through a challenging cycle, but yes, you will get out. But it's not going to work. It just, I'm not seeing a miracle, unfortunately. Thomas Martin says, Milu, I went to the cardiologist. He adjusted my, medi my medicine. I am feeling like a different person. That's good. Thank you for your help, mate. You should do more medical <laughs> questions. I don't remember I say anything to you, but thank you. Sometimes people need help. Oh, yeah, T Thomas, it's, you know, uh, I am very careful with this because you know, I, I, I never know. I, something may come out, and I didn't mean to, for it to come out. And also, I am very careful, you know, uh, people may misinterpret what you say. So it's not because I don't want to do it. I would like to. But in this profession, I have to be careful. Uh, but I'm very happy for you. Hang in there. So that's a, that's a good sign. Uh, Lorna Morris is asking me, will I find an apartment soon? I'm experiencing body tremors. I'm sorry. No, I feel it's, uh, uh, and Lorna is saying, I am experiencing body tremors. Is there some negative energy around me? I don't feel that's what it is. It's stress, it feels like to me. And I feel, I'm getting, you know, between now and March, April, so don't get discouraged. Keep looking if you don't find something right away. But yes, you will find an apartment, okay? All right. Let's see. I am... Okay. Budika says, Milu, I had a job interview earlier this week. It went really well. Will I get hired? The thing is, I don't know where you're going to get, you know, when people ask me those questions, I don't know where they're going to get hired, but I'm getting to. Uh, within the next two weeks, it may be within, between two weeks and two months, yeah, there's going to be a new opportunity. So... Hang in there. Okay, but I don't know if it's the one you went to. I'm not going to tell you some story here. Okay, but yet there is a change coming. Okay? Okay. Mama B is asking, will Michael and I ever get married in the future? Mama B... Why do I feel Michael is afraid of commitment? It's not that he doesn't love you or anything, but it seems like to me he's... Okay, Mama B, can you please call me? Mama B, sorry. Oh, I gotta find that number. I gotta find the YouTube number. Oops. Let's see. Oh my God. I gotta find the number. Oops. There you go. I posted the number, Mama B. Marcy Hackett is saying, Milu, the documents were released last night from the archive. It was 700 pages, including uh, Donald Trump. No logs, according to CNN. No, they weren't released. He's trying to hide them. <laughs> Hi, this is Milu. Yes, Milu, I'm 
Lilo, you asked me to call you from YouTube Live. Oh yeah, you are Mama B? Yes, I have to call my phone. Okay. What, okay, do you know if your friend is afraid of uh, commitment? Yes, he's afraid of commitment because he has a lot of self-esteem um, issues, like a lot of self-esteem problems yeah. um, and a lot of problems with, with like his confidence. Right. Um, it's mostly about, it's mostly about him, not anything to do with me. Like, oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know that what I was going to tell you is it feels like to me he, w he went through some trauma and, you know, uh, early in childhood. Do you know? Yes, yeah, he went through a lot through childhood, yep. and then also with um, relationships with other women before well, me too. Well, of course, the thing is, you know, if you when you grow up, you know, you'd be surprised how uh, the relationship between mom and dad affects us, and also if dad leaves, oh my God, if you know care is not taken, it can affect you know the kids. Uh, very negatively and it, it will come out in our personal relationships that's what's happening with your friend okay you're right thank god you realize that it has nothing to do with you and you are not the first one this is going through you know what you should do go, you should go to counseling and process all those traumas because believe me let me tell you there is nothing he can do uh, every relationship he gets into is going to end up the same way unless he does the work you know what i mean uh, process whatever trauma from the from his background from the past, okay, and then there's a chance. So, if you want to stick by him and help him, hopefully he lets you because people like that they can just get up one day, okay, and they tell you it's not that they don't love you. They say, okay, I'm done with this. I'm out of here, and they're gone. And the, you know when they can, if the, the the way they may try to come back is if they feel like you reject them, you didn't come after them, you didn't, you know, you just ignore them. Then you know the rejection, okay, is going to make them. Some of them, uh, they, they will answer to that. It's like it makes them feel. It, it's a way they don't want to feel. Okay, it's a, a little complicated. It has to do with psychology. I'm not a psychologist, but uh, yeah, your friend has to get some help process, you know, everything that happened in the past, hopefully, and maybe at that time, he'll be able to have a healthy relationship, okay? But it's, it's difficult. I wish I could tell you, yes, it is possible, but it's not going to be an easy uh, situation, okay? Uh, okay, that's Okay, my friend. You. You're very welcome. Good luck and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Let's see. Let me go down. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Halloween. Yeah. Oh, my God. Shirley, Cheryl Sminoff is saying, Milo, can I make money with JD Marketing? I don't know what that is. As a business. Cheryl, can you please call me? I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm curious. I'm posting the number. Uh, Sean is asking me, Lou, I have had like, a lack of motivation as of late. In two weeks, I'll be going to the doctor. After I, I get treated from the doctor, will my motivation come back so I can move forward? Absolutely. The thing is, we all go through those periods, uh, Sean. So don't beat yourself up, okay? <laughs> it's a cycle you'll get out of. Hi, this is Milu. Oh, hi, Milu. This is Cheryl. And I was the lady asking about the JD marketing. Yes. It's like a postcard program, too. It's like I'd be self-employed and it has to do with marketing and um, postcards, and everyone seems to be doing well, but should I do it? Uh, it, it has to do with postcards. I don't understand what that means. Well, but they, they, you take the postcards and you send them out and you bring people in and everybody works at home. Um, oh, okay. Like direct marketing, 
they're going to give me postcards. You know, I'm going to mail them out. Yeah, People but you know what? Sign up and, yeah, yeah, my friend, this sounds like to me the pyramid thing. Could be, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can try it. Is it? They say it's legal, but, you know. Oh, I'm not saying it's illegal. None of those things are illegal. It's just that they don't yeah. work. You know what I mean? Uh, they invite you, you go to the, to the parties, you know what I mean? They explain to you how it works, and you go and yeah, do so it. Yeah, you don't have to go to a party, but you just have to mail the cards out, and of course people have to get Oh, yeah, now nah, because, it. yeah, because of the pandemic, they came up, probably came up with a new way of doing it. Uh, you, you, if you want to try it for fun, but uh, I don't feel that's the right business yet, my friend. You, keep, don't, you don't think it's good? No, keep thinking about new ideas. That one, I don't think so. No? Mm -mm. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. You You're very welcome. It's God okay. bless. Bye bye. Thank Take you. care. You're welcome. Bye. bye. Okay. <laughs> Louis Cherry saying, No. <laughs> You're very welcome, Sean. Oh my God. Deidre Murray McIntosh says, I want to know about my current position. My reputation has been damaged, and should I seek a new, uh, new employment? Deidre, it's very hard if, if, if someone trashed whatever, for whatever reason your reputation at work. Some people can recover, but it's, uh, it's climbing a mountain. Depending on how long you've been there, if I were you, look for something better. And also, you know what, how it's very, uh, and also you being able to redeem yourself has to do, a lot to do with, are they willing to give you a chance, an opportunity to do that? Did you, can you please call me? You know, yeah, please call me, okay. Hi, Jen Beck, how are you? <laughs> Let's see. I am scrolling for question. Lucre Lucretia Valdez is asking Milo any messages for my deceased uh, daughter-in-law. Can you please call me, Lucretia? I'm seeing a baby or a young child. Can you please call me? Okay. Yeah, Marie Hackett, you're the one I was talking to earlier. No, I don't feel uh, they didn't release anything because it's all tied up in litigation. Well, of course, Trump is trying to lit litigate everything and delay everything. That's what he's doing. So uh, I wish those 700 pages plus Meadows document plus Stephen Miller's document plus that woman who was, you know, his spokeswoman, the liar, I forgot her name, uh, the blonde. Are you kidding? If when those things get released, oh my God! Hi, this is Milu. Hi, Milu. This is Lucretia. Hi. Okay. What's with a baby or a young child? Did your uh, daughter-in-law leave a young child? She left too, but the youngest uh, is uh, six years old, six or seven years old. Oh my God! Yeah, okay, that's what she's showing. Okay, and uh, one second. Okay, there's a grandfather here, and who's Maurice or a name that's just letter M? Do you know who that is? Please write that down. Uh, yeah. That's okay. Just yeah. write it down. Just write it down. Okay. 
but there's something like a grandfather who came to get her when, before she went. Did something pop? Did something what? I don't know, why do I feel like something pop? How did she pass? Is it oh, she, um, she had breast cancer. Uh, well, okay, that's why I went this way, but... <sighs> did something, you don't know if something pop? Internal. Nothing popped internal. Oh, my father died years ago. Um, he had, we think he might have had an aneurysm. Okay, that sounds uh, like that's a pop. Yeah, okay. That, that, okay, because that's you're, you're okay. What, okay, what's happening is your daughter in law, you know, after, okay, well, she wants everyone to know she's okay. She wants to pass it oh, off yeah. to your son and everyone, okay? Let everyone know she's okay. She's with family. Her father, her grandfather came to get her. And then she's saying, oh, like somebody, you know, something pop, aneurysm. It's your, you said your father? Yes. Okay. His heart stopped. It started in his leg, the bottom of his leg, and went all the way up to his heart. Okay. Heart. Uh, so she's bringing him forward. I thought it was her, the pop. You know what I mean? Because that thing just... Oh. You know what I mean? Not, no, it's yeah, your dad. He had tumors. Yeah. Well, yeah, they, don't, they don't really pop unless, you know, it's, you know, they, 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 you, know you get sore and then they... they no. Uh, when I say pop, it was something internal. It's your, it's your dad. Okay? Yeah. So she brought your, your dad uh, forward as well. That's, uh, that's what's happening here. Okay? So they all want to let okay. you guys know they're okay. They want to pass their love to you and the rest of the family. Let everyone know they're well and still very much part okay. of you. Okay? All right. Thank you, Mila. You're very welcome. Good luck. God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye. Somebody was trying to call me. Can you please call back? Because you get one minute. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run after this. And I will not answer the phone. or I, I, I won't be here anymore. I'll be in the back packing because I'm leaving tonight. <laughs> Hi, this is Milu. Hello? Hi, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No, but very, very little. I mean, uh, low. Hello? Can you hear me now? Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay. What, what was your question, please? I remember I asked someone it to call me. About, but I, I'm sorry? It was about my reputation at work. Yeah. There for no, years. I feel like saying, uh, how long have you been there? Why am I getting 10? 30. So what happened 10 years ago? Uh, 10 years ago, I had another situation with this woman, and it seems ever since my reputation went down and down and down and it was to me it was about jealousy that yeah I, that's what other people were saying but okay she was in a high position oh yeah it just never about that and then it just you know something off. you've been there 30 years uh write it out if you were there like 10 years or less because I, I, I keep hearing 10. I, I wasn't sure why I wasn't getting the 10. It's because this started 10 years ago and you're still trying to f climb that hill. You know something? If I were you, I wouldn't worry about it. Go to work every day, do your job. You make, that's how you make your money, okay? And if need be, if they, I don't, I don't see you losing your job. The only reason why I told you if you find something else is because, you know, it's very, like, well, you find out. That's what I was saying before you, you told me. Whenever you find yourself in those situations, trying to climb out, oh my God, it's a Herculean uh, effort. And also people have to be willing, not people at your level, but upper level people have to be willing to give you a chance. Okay, and it seems like they're not doing that. And you know what, you've been there too long. You can't just walk away, write it out. Okay? No. Just no. let it go. You know, let go of the notion that you're gonna to try to climb out, forget it. Just do your job, do the best you can, that's it. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Good luck. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, friends. Thank you very much for spending time with me. I appreciate it. Uh, if anyone would like a reading for me, the link to my website is below the video, psychicmilu.com. 
or you can send me an email at psychicmilo at aol.com and I can, we can negotiate a time that's good for both of us to, to talk. I have not answered any of the comments since last night because I've been running around here losing my head, as you know. I'm going to be on the road. So uh, please bear with me. Monday I will reply to all the comments. And uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe. And also tap on the bell in order for you to be notified when I'm online or when I post a video. Again, chat managers, thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Everyone, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Happy Halloween. Till Monday. Bye.